Now we're going to look at how to use uh, predictions using the uh, equations, uh, again, also using the Casio class pad. Now, in the previous video, we talked about this idea of transforms, and we found that uh, we had a graph that required us to do uh, probably these two transforms because we had a curve like this on our data. So let's just run through that quickly and then look at some uh, equations from that. So this was the data. If you don't already have the data in your calculator, pause the video, put the data into the calculator, play along, make sure you're getting everything uh, the same. So very quickly, calc, regression, linear reg. Our x is list one, our y is list two. We did put a residual in list three, but we're not so worried about that too much this time. Well, now we had this r, and that's important to remember that the r equals minus 0 0.927, three significant figures. But we've also got this e equation here. We've got our a and our b up here. So let's start look, writing that equation. So this equation, remember, is always y equals a plus bx. How do I know that? I read that. Now, our a, the three significant figures, is 101. And uh, because we've got a, a negative symbol here, it's going to be b is minus 0 0.392 x and this is going to be our uh, first equation we're going to be using all right now uh, we compare the r's to see which one is going to be the actual best equation but i'm going to do it three times over just to make sure you're having fun with those and what we found when we graphed this is we got a curve it didn't look particularly linear and we went to set graph and settings and we check the residual while making sure that our Y list was list three. And again, here's that lovely pattern. Now that equation that we talked about before, which was uh, down here, that is actually our equation, uh, Y equals uh, 111 minus 0 0.392X. That's actually what that line is showing. They just leave it on there for some reason. Don't need it and shouldn't be there really. And by noting we had a curve like this, it means we had a curve like this. We could have done all four of these transforms, but oh god, that would have been a long, boring video. So we're just going to focus on these two transforms, log x and reciprocal or inverse x. So we clicked at the bottom of list four because we wanted to put it into list four. And then because list one is our x, we're going to do reciprocal of x, which is one divided by list one. And we got these lovely values. Notice this graph here. That's not list four. This graph is still, that's, that's, that's your list three graph. Remember I said about graphs just hanging around because you haven't got, uh, updated them? So make sure it's going to the set graph setting because that's not list four, that's list three. Uh, big problem for some people. And then we go calc, regression, linear reg. And we make sure our list four is the thing. Remember, we, I keep saying this, list one equals X, list two equals Y, list three equals X, Y residual. I should give people extra marks just for writing that on the side of the thing. And list four was reciprocal X, which is one divided by X. Some of you fancy people know that's also X to the one. Now this is a very important point here. This is a lie, remember? because we said list one equals X, list two equals Y, list three equals X, Y residual, and list four equals one over X. So it's not Y equals A plus B X. That is wrong. It is Y equals A plus B times one over X, which is exactly the same as saying Y equals A plus B over X. That's what we've got. Now, let's look at our values. So A, three significant figures. So Y equals 28.6. And then uh, let's look at our B. Our B is uh, plus 1120 over X. Now you might be going, there's four numbers here. But uh, if we look, this is just a placeholder zero. Our three significant figures. These are uh, three significant figures here. So that's three sig figs. 
All right, so that is correct. That is our equation. All right, don't get uh, grumpy about this. There's our three fingers. That zero in the end is just a placeholder. All right, so that's our equation. Now, the other thing to remember is we actually looked at the R, and our R in this case, uh, R equals 0 0.8. 6, 2. So we said that's actually worse transform than the other one. Okay, and we'll uh, have a look at that in a, uh, at the end, but we're going to still use that equation and just for practice. So as we said, because the uh, for uh, reciprocal exit wasn't very good, we're going to go to list 5. And this time uh, we're going to try log of x. That's what log of list 1, because remember list 1 was x. It's gone off the screen now because we had to scroll across to the right, but you can see that. And so here's our all our log values of x. Don't forget, look at this graph. That graph is still list three. It's the zombie graph. It's still there hanging around like a bad smell because we didn't change settings on set graph. So we go calc regression linear reg. And this time list five. Have I mentioned this before? List one, list two, two, list three, list four, and list five equals the log of x. And that's the one we want to put in there because that's the one we're checking. And here's that lie again. Y equals a plus bx is incorrect. It is y equals a plus b log of x because that's what our x is now. It's not x, it's log of x. So our y equals, where's my a? My a is here. Three significant figures. Uh, it'll be just uh, 224 because the five makes it go up, yeah? And as our b is not a plus, is it? Because it's uh, actually a negative. So we can actually just skip the positive symbol and just go minus 86 point uh, five log of X, and that's our third equation we're going to get from our A and B values. But let's have a look at that R again. The R, R equals minus 0 0.987. That is very good because remember that's compared to R equals uh, minus 0 0.927. That was our first, first R. And uh, so that's an improvement. Uh, so actually, the best equation of all the three that we've come up with is this one. This is the best equation, but we're going to look at all three of them. So here's here's a summary of all our equations, and you can see that we've got uh, y equals a plus bx, y equals a plus b divided by x, and y equals a plus b uh, log x. Uh, just to remind people, because it's amazing how many people don't know this, so 1 over x uh, is exactly the same as 1 divided by x, which is exactly the same as x to the power minus 1. So on your calculators, if you do, if you type on your calculators, uh, this is calculator talk, if you did 1 slash x or uh, x hat neg 1, you get this, they're all the same thing, okay? So whenever you see these things, um, remember fractions are exactly the same as division, okay? So I'm going to make a prediction when x equals 200, okay? And uh, this this guy here is just my first equation. That's my y equals a plus bx. And I've put in the 200 here for the x, and I got my prediction of 32.6 out here. I've just done the same thing again here. I'm doing a prediction for x equals 200 because uh, this is my equation y equals uh, a plus b over x. And notice I just used that division symbol, that's just hitting the divide symbol. By the way, if you're thinking this looks a bit funny, that's just times, that's times, and this guy is division. Uh, they look a bit funny on my computer sometimes, but that's all they're doing here. And, and we got fairly similar predictions, not too bad. Now this is just my third, third equation, so this is y equals a plus b log of x and uh, you can see my uh, x equals 200 here and uh, this this round this number off it's 25.0 now this is a significant figure all right sometimes people get freaked out by that but i've only got one two three numbers uh, so i have to go to the third place 
there's a one in ten chance that one of the significant figures is going to be a, a zero there, isn't it? Like, uh, so it it does happen um, that the zero might actually be significant. Okay, so don't don't stress about that. So we've got three values here. We've got 32.6, 34.2, and 25.0. So uh, big question is which is best? Well, the R for this one, this was a R equals minus 0 0.927. This had an R for that equation of equals uh, 0 0.862. So 0 0.862. And this one was R equals uh, minus 0 0.987, if I'm right. So this is the best prediction because best R. So best R equals best prediction. Now notice all these values that we've got are uh, within a similar range. Have a look at those numbers, 32.6, 34.2, Now remember we were making a prediction for 200, all right? Now it's always good to go back whenever you're doing any of these things and think where it is. So that's just x equals 200, so this remember was x so x of 200 goes in in there, right? So that's 200. So it should be in here. So we've got a value of 33 as our top and 13 as our bottom. So that's our values are between there. Um, and you can actually see like 30, yeah, it doesn't look great, 34, yeah, but this guy looks pretty, uh, looks pretty good. So 25.0, that does look good. And so uh, ignoring those two, Let's talk about this value. So 25.0 is reliable because uh, R is high. Remember, it was minus 0 0.987. And we are interpolating. What does interpolating mean? Well, 200 is within this range of 10 to 300. So we're not going outside the range of the data when we're interpolating. So 25 is reliable because R is high and we are interpolating. Now, we're going to try some other predictions. But a good trick is, since we've got all this already written in, if you just you know tap the, the screen and, and put your cursor here, you can change the digits here. So we're going to do a prediction now for uh, 500, all right? Now, instead of actually rewriting the whole thing, I just changed, just tapped the screen and edited that and press enter, and I got a bunch of predictions. Now, what we're seeing here is we got minus 85, 30.84, and minus 9.5. Uh, um, and why is that? Well, if we, if we went and look at the original data, the original data that we had, um, didn't actually have uh, this in their range. So the original data, the X's went 10 all the way to 300, and now we're trying 500. So what we're doing here, this is a big extrapolation. So that's a very big uh, extrapolation. And we can see that we got these wildly different uh, answers in here, that none of them are, are, are remotely correct so um, this is this is definitely unreliable uh, and, and that means like not confident all right because it's just too big an extrapolation so it's unreliable and not confident because you're extrapolating too far um, depending on what you're measuring a, a negative could be a really weird value uh, so don't forget that as well like if, if you were like looking at uh, the population of bacteria and your prediction gave you a negative value well how do you have negative population so even if even if even if this has got a uh, high r a, a negative might not in a certain context uh, make sense all right so a big extrapolation means unreliable not confident so this time i'm making a prediction for 310 and you can see I've, all I've done is just 
up, switch these to 310, uh, and, and make, sure, make sure you press enter and the, the values change. Sometimes you enter and you only change one of them. Now let's have a look at our uh, original data. So we said X started at 10 and went all the way down to 300, right? Uh, but we're going to 310. Now our Y values, they started at uh, 130 and went down to 10. That's our actual data. But our predictions, this one looks terrible, doesn't it? Uh, and this one doesn't look very good. But this one, which is 8.50 to 3 point significant figures, 8.50, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, we've only gone a small, small extrapolation and that 8.5, you'd be fairly confident. So um, you could say, in terms of is it a reliable, um, you could say, remember, because this R, this R equals minus 0 0.987, which is strong. In fact, you might even call it very strong. It's unusual in real life to get you to get that sort of stronger value. We can say that even though we are extrapolating, it is only a small extrapolation and R is strong uh, therefore the result or we call it the prediction is re uh, reliable. And, and the other phrase you often hear about is like confident. And it's kind of like gambling, isn't it? Um, so 8.5 looks like a pretty good bit. So even though you're extrapolating, which is considered to be bad, you're only extrapolating a little bit and your R is very high. 8.5 looks like a good bit to make. 